Hi, I'm uh, Robin from Bike Radar. I'm here with Dan Roberts from Scott with uh, Matthias Brandley's air record bike. It's the bike he broke the air record on in October of last year. Uh, he rode 51.852 kilometres on it. And um, Dan's going to tell us what's special about it. Well, this is a, a Plasma 5, so it's the new 2015 Plasma. It's the time trial setup that we've got here, but we've got some few modifications that, that we did for his hour record attempt. Firstly, it's been stripped of all brakes and he's just running one gear. All the fairings that usually are bolted over, the brakes for instance, they were, they were bonded on and sprayed over in the factory so there's no gaps to create any turbulence whatsoever. He's running basically electrical tape as grip tape. <laughs> he doesn't want to spare any weight there. He was running a 58 tooth chainring at the, the hour record attempt, but he wanted to keep that. I think he likes pushing the ring that big. So what we've got here is a 55, 13 at back. And we've also got some lightweight tubular wheels from DT Swiss. They had a partnership, a little collaboration with Lightweight as well. Yeah, saddles, uh, it's a Prologo Zero TT saddle, pretty conventional road time trial saddle. It has the CPC material on top, which is like a silicone material with small polymer, um, almost like volcanoes in a way, so it provides a bit of extra grip and a little bit of suspension feel, a bit more comfort to the rider. Very good for time trials because it's so grippy you don't move out of position. He's running Schwalbe uh, one time trial tyres at 22 mil width. He probably had those run up pretty hard. I don't know what pressure, but yeah, I would have been running them hard as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, all the bolt holes in here, the bottle cage bolts, the uh, food storage mount on the uh, top tube, all of those are covered up, even taped over the, the valve holes on the wheel. Every little ounce of aerodynamics was eked out of it so he could go as far as possible. Usually the stem is usually dropped and you move the bearings closer together and you lose stiffness. What we did is we kept the bearings at the top and the bottom and just moved the stem down. So we keep the stiffness, there's a good flow of stress from the, uh, from the fork and the bars into the frame through the two bearings. And it also means that we can have a flat line on the top tube and the stem and reduce the frontal area of the bike. So increasing stiffness and reducing the drag. 